Hey guys, it's Miharu. When it comes to Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, most people will say the best thing to come from it is the addition of the new female Lombax, Rivet. And whether or not you see her as your new furry waifu, chances are you like her and think she's cool. And I get it, she's a top tier character for sure. But after playing the game through a few times, I noticed someone else who's just as significant to the story and to the franchise in general and doesn't get discussed nearly as much as she should. Our timid little bot, KT7461, aka Kit. <laughs> On a surface level, Kit is similar to her dimensional counterpart, Clank. She's polite, has trouble understanding slang and sarcasm, and can translate techno talk. She's also a warbot, but whereas Clank escaped the factory on Quartu right away after learning of Drek's plan, Kit followed her programming for a good while, and even took pride in the work she did for Emperor Nefarious. But after taking Rivet's arm, she started to question herself, realizing what it meant to be a weapon and fearing her own destructive power. She then defected from the Emperor's forces and became an apprentice to Gary on Savali, presumably as a way to try and distance herself from the shame she felt. But this self-exile would not bring her peace, as one of the first things she tells Ratchet upon meeting him is that she doesn't make a great partner. When she reverts to Warbot mode, even though her intent is to protect, that power can still get the better of her and there are moments she can lose herself. And the more I analyze these differences between her and Clank, the more I realized, there really hasn't been another character like her, at least not in this series. Kit is a classic case of anxiety and depression. But in all seriousness, I'm glad they gave us a character like this. As an introvert who constantly worries about what the future holds, I highly relate to her struggles, and I think a lot of others can too. Now, I know relatability isn't everything, and sometimes when we see characters with low self-esteem who are always blaming themselves, it can get a little frustrating. And that's natural, whether you suffer from anxiety yourself, or know someone that does, it can be very tough to deal with. So if you find yourself disliking Kit for any of these reasons, maybe I can help you understand the situation a bit better. Just like with anyone, having this kind of mindset can be worked on. After traveling with Ratchet for a while, Kit eventually starts to open up more, showing off her amazing improvisation skills, and even expressing genuine excitement in meeting Rivet. This scene is actually super important, because being as shy and nervous as she is, she chooses to speak up and introduce herself. Like, do you know how hard it is for someone with social anxiety to make friends? This is a big moment for her, and it's really cute too. And this is why she and Rivet work so well together. They're both used to being alone, they both isolate themselves, but for different reasons. But Kit knew that, just like Ratchet and Clank, they were destined to be partners. And I think that thought alone probably calmed her and made her feel happier. Like she finally had a purpose other than to be a weapon. But even so, she was scared of disappointing her. And then when she learned it was Rivet, whom she had hurt all that time ago, that's when all those feelings of guilt returned. And though she knew Rivet would be reasonably upset, Revealing the truth was the only way to protect her new friend. In that moment, she thought, There's nothing I can do. I've even managed to push away the person who I was meant to team up with. I've burned that bridge. I'm done. And that's why when Rivet tried to forgive her, she could not accept it. Because she still could not forgive herself. So she thought the best thing for herself and everyone else was for her to return to Savali and forget they ever met. The only thing I wish we would have gotten is a cutscene with Kit realizing she needs to stop running away and come back to fight. Sure, she appears during the final battle, right when she's needed most, but it would have been nice to get that little something extra. If you think about it, it's kind of an inverse of Ratchet and Clank's situation from the original game, with one of them realizing, hey, this is a lot bigger than the both of us, so I need to actually be a team player and help out. In the end, though Rivet may be the best female character to come out of the series in years, I feel that Kit really embodies the core of what Rift Apart is about. Not letting fear control you, 
accepting help from others, uncertainty, and change. And though she may not be the most original in terms of personality, she's a welcome addition, and I can't wait to see what the future has in store for her. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Click the link on the right if you want to see more character analyses, and the one on the left for my general thoughts on Ripped Apart. As always, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe for more casual gaming content, and I will see you next time. Until then, this is Miharu, signing off.